Welcome to our tutorial about sharing sketches. I've already got Sketch 1 active. I'm going to select the Circle tool now. And let's drop a circle right around here. The center is the origin point. Let's activate the Line tool. We'll snap to the first point of the circle. And to the second point. We still have the Line tool active. Let's mouse over until we get the green dot and snap to this point on the circle. And let's close our triangle where we started. Right click and done. Let's add an equal constraint. This line will be equal to this one. And this line equal to this one. Okay, that looks better. Right click and done. Let's apply some dimensions now. First we'll do the circle. We'll give it a diameter of 1.5 inches. Okay. One dimension is still needed. Right click, done. Basically, the triangle can rotate inside the circle. Let's apply one more dimension. We'll select this point here and the center point. Let's place the dimension right here. Let's enter zero for the value and click OK. Our sketch is fully constrained. Let's undo those last two dimensions. There's another way to place a dimension if in fact I want to constrain my sketch using dimensions. We can use a horizontal dimension. Select the line instead of the point. And this point, the center point. Let's use a horizontal dimension. Click the diameter dimension, divide it by two. OK. Finish our sketch. And we're on the Model tab. Let's activate the Extrude command. Let's select this profile here. You know, actually, let's use the Revolve tool instead. OK, we'll select this profile. The axis, this one. OK. Now, to reuse this sketch, you right-click on it and select Share Sketch. Activate the Revolve command. I'll use this profile and this axis. And revolve again. This time we'll use this profile and this axis. OK. Extends full again and OK. Last one. Activate the extrude command this time. We'll select the triangle. We'll cut in both directions. Extends. Let's use all and click OK. Let's make one more example. I'm going to shift select everything and right click delete it. Now let's right click on sketch one and delete it. I'm going to create another sketch on the XZ plane. Let's start with a rectangle. Something like this. Right click and done. We'll apply some dimensions now. 1.5 inches. OK. And let's make this dimension 2.5 inches. OK. Right click and done. Now let's use the Offset tool. We'll select the rectangle, select Inside, right-click, and Done. And let's select this line. Click Delete. Now let's activate the Extends tool. Click this line and this line. Right-click and Done. Let's apply some dimensions now. Between this line and this line, we'll have a distance of an eighth of an inch. OK. And this line and this line, also an eighth of an inch. OK. And between these two lines, also the same. OK, now our sketch is fully constrained. Let's exit the sketch. And let's activate the Extrude command. I'm going to select this profile and this profile. Now let's enter a distance of an eighth of an inch. And OK. 
Let's expand Extrusion 2, right-click on Sketch 2, and select Share Sketch. Now let's activate the Extrude command again. We'll select this profile. Our distance, half an inch. Click OK. And this concludes our tutorial about sharing a sketch.